Hi guys, Ham here from uh, Ham and Ty's Fishing Adventures. As you can see, I'm rocking out the old uh, Manic Yell Yaks hoodie today. Good stuff. So anyway, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I uh, prep my reels for, you know, after I finish my last trip sort of thing. What I've done is I've put two reels in the ute as if I've just got back home. I've been fishing, obviously. This is just to show you what I do and take you through exactly what I do um, when I get back, how I look after my reels. So my rods and my reels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you out in a second. Go to the ute, pull them out, and I'm going to take you through the process from uh, getting them clean to um, spraying them down and then putting them away ready for the next uh, mission. So yeah, stay tuned guys and we'll uh, get that out for you. Cool. So first things first guys, I come into here, the bathroom, and I get the old fan and light going. And I put it on as hot as I can and turn it on that heats it up so as you can see there's not a huge amount of pressure in our shower which is not too bad you don't want high pressure because then it just blows stuff through your reels all right so i'm going to go to the ute just got back from a trip essentially and i'm going to go and unpack the rest of my fishing gear so it's just my rods and reels left so as you can see i open them up there's two rods there got my kuma cortez set up and i've got my uh, shimano aqua tip soft baiting set up so i'll pull them both out Try and do this with one hand so I'm videoing at the same time. Don't worry about the leashes, they can just drag on the ground. Alright, so I'll take both rods in. So I've got both rods here, we're going in. And I'm going to put them in the shower. And give them a shower. So, best thing about the shower... Is that the pressure's low quality? So you want it on hot, and I'll show you what I do with that in a second. Probably can't see much at the moment with the camera angle, and just got other things happening with my other hand. So there you go, they can shower. So if you've got a detachable head like this one, I take it off and I start from the top, it's on hot, and I work my way down. That's melting the salt, the salt off the uh, reels and the rod. So just quickly give it a good hose like that. Washes all the salt, the water off. And then what I do is I put the hose back into itself up here. And I just leave it rinsing. I spin it around so it's rinsing from the top. Like so. Just hard to do with one hand. But you can see the water there just above the reels. So it's running down the rod and through the reel. And I'll leave it there for about 10 minutes and let this room steam right up. So we'll come back once 10 minutes is over and we'll carry on from there. It's been 10 minutes guys, so I'm gonna go turn that shower off. Um, the other thing which I did while they're in the ute, um, which I didn't do on camera and I forgot to mention it, is I've done the drag right up. So both reels got the drag done right up before you put them in the shower. Um, that way the pressure of the water and that doesn't go through the reels and blow all the uh, grease out. So it's like I said, there's not much pressure on my shower anyway, but the do the drags right up before you put them in there. So let's go and uh, get them, uh, turn the shower off. So I've done that bit right now, so it's been 10 minutes, she's pretty steamed up in there as you can see, she's pretty had a good old shower. Turn the shower off and just leave them there to drip dry for about five minutes. So that, that part of the washing cleaning is done. We'll come back in uh, five minutes. All right, so it's been five minutes, so we'll, uh, there they are, they'll drip dry, so we'll, uh, as much as they're gonna be for now, take these out. So this next process of it. I've only got one hand, because I'm using the camera, so bear, bear with me while I hear the banging and crashing. All right, so I take these outside now. And I'll show you what I do once I get them uh, cleaned. So essentially the cleaning's finished. Now I get my handy CRC Marine. So this spray here, there's, there's an ox, there's uh, a few different sprays on the market. I use CRC Marine. 
and um, I'm going to spray. What I do here is, is those uh, they're done right up, so I'll quickly just undo all these. I'll undo it so it's loose. So undo it so it's loose enough. Oh, that one's falling over. So we'll, yep, that's loose. And then what I do is I spray the whole reel. So I'm going to go around, it's a bit hard with one hand because I'm actually left handed. So I'm doing it with my right hand. I spray the whole thing. And then I spray the eyes. So I go up the eyes of the uh, rod and I spray them all the way up to the tip. And then I do the same on the other one. Make sure that is loose first of all. So loosen it right off. Yep, this is loose. Get it sit straight. I'll swap my hands over so I actually have my proper hand. So then I get the uh, reel and I spray around the reel right the way around all the mechanics and I go up and do the eyes as well. All the way to the top. And then I let it sit like that outside for about three minutes. Just lets it run off and uh, drips off. And then those rods they go back in the shed and that's uh, ready to go for next run. So it's no rocket science people. Put them in the shower hot water, let the salt water rinse off, let them drip dry with the drags done up, come outside, take the drags off and uh, spray them down with your uh, marine grade spray. And then they just uh, go back in the rack and they're ready to go next time. Been doing it over five years, haven't had any issues with any of my reels and the rods, haven't had any rust on any of them works fine not rocket science but if you didn't know you wouldn't know so there you go guys that's how i do mine enjoy cheers